Welcome back, video creeps. I feel like I've been at like a dope party with all like this new awesome horror content that's been thrown my way. I'm like getting drunk with Michael Myers and doing like toilet ketamine with Chucky. All my friends are here. And then somewhere in my intoxicated brain, I think to myself like, wasn't Dexter supposed to be here? Well, worry not, because I have some new details surrounding Dexter season nine, or more appropriately titled, Dexter New Blood. Just a reminder to like the video. If you're new here, please hit subscribe. You're a new friend and that's cool. You seem pretty like tight. We should hang out. And for everyone else, just make sure that your notification bell is on. Let's get into it. As we already knew, Michael C. Hall will be returning to reprise his role as Dexter. Thank God, wouldn't that have been weird? He'll be playing the same slasher vigilante, and by his side is the original showrunner for the first four seasons, Clyde Phillips. Now New Blood will be a season event that will keep everything that happened in season one through eight canon. And we can expect to see, like, kind of a lot of returning characters. Some more interesting than others. Some of the legacy characters that we know are going to be back in this. The one that caught my eye right away is that we will see a return of Harrison. Dexter's child that we see leave to Argentina with Anna McKay. Which I thought was very curious because he has top billing and he'll be in all 10 episodes. Now, before you ask if that's the original, it's not. That just wouldn't match up with when the show ended and how old Harrison was, like where we're picking up in this universe's timeline. It's just not, that's not it. But one thing is for sure, and that is that Harrison will not be a figment of Dexter's imagination. Unlike the return of Deborah Morgan, who also is set to return for all 10 episodes of this new event series. And not only is she back, she will play a major role in where Dexter is at mentally. But more on that in a second. Just gonna give you guys a mid-video reminder that I have a Patreon where I have a ton of exclusive content. If you dig what I do and wanna support my channel, the link is down below. There's videos and write-ups and like naked stuff. I try and keep the naked stuff coming. Coming. So click that link if you want to check it out. Plus it just makes me happy. A super weird person that I saw was also revealed was that John Lithgow will be returning as the Trinity Killer for three episodes. And that just shocked me because Trinity Killer was kind of a big deal. And you would think that they would want to keep that kind of information under wraps, but it appears that they have so much hiding up their sleeve that they don't even mind divulging that information. There are no rules in this house. I'm not like a regular mom, I'm a cool mom. But what purpose will he play? I have a feeling that it's gonna fall in line with how they're bringing Deb back into the fold. Now, I personally always loved the storyline with Dexter's brother, so I would like to see a return of the ice truck killer. But like I said, Trinity is also a fan favorite. So I'm pumped to see him return, and honestly, I'm kind of hoping that we get to see multiple other people return who aren't confirmed yet. For anyone who's looking to get a couple more guidelines from Harry's rule book, you may be disappointed as we won't see a return of Harry in this new series. And it's not for no reason. When Dexter first came out, the world was kind of in love with the anti-hero. Mentally, we were at a different place and we glorified different things. However, with this new woke generation and more aware audience, this series is looking to focus more on Dexter's thoughts and take a look at his life after quieting that voice in his head. But while saying that, it is important to remember that the core character of who Dexter is will not be changing. Dexter New Blood will follow a Dexter that is still a very conflicted serial killer. So having Harry involved telling him what to do is kind of counterproductive to who Dexter is trying to be in this new series, which makes room for Deb to step in. So that way we see Dexter getting a new perspective. And I believe in these moments of seeing Dexter mulling over his past, this is when we're gonna see the Trinity Killer and most likely more characters that haven't been announced that they're trying to keep a little hush hush. I so badly wanted to see the trial and conviction of Dexter Morgan. 
and having to come face to face with people like Matsuka or Batista. Hell, even LaGuarta would be fun to bring back in just to see what that interaction would have been like. And I think with doing it this way, we get a glimpse into exactly what that would have been. I can't speak for anyone else, but I do love Harrison. However, I do feel a closer connection to Aster and Cody. That's the relationship that I saw Dexter foster throughout the show. So I am hoping to at least get a cameo from those two. However, with the current storyline that they're trying to tell, I can see where maybe they wouldn't fit in. Obviously, Dexter is gonna have an alias in this new life in a fictional city outside of New York. He'll be going by the name Jimmy. Jimmy dates the chief of police and he works as like a fish and game salesman and nobody will know of his past and that will help him in turn repress all of his past mistakes. However, it wouldn't be a show without a little bit of drama, and here comes in the meat of what this show will be, as this is when his son Harrison will show up to this small town in search of his fabled father. Now remember, Harrison was born in blood just like Dexter was. So that does lead to the question, will Harrison have the exact same killer tendencies that Dexter had? Will Harrison need a brand new code and will Dexter be able to provide one based off of some of the missteps in Harry's code? Let me know what you think down in the comments below. In addition to this, there will also be a separate storyline concerning a local killer who's like kidnapping and murdering women. And with Dexter dating the chief of police, he will be fully aware of what's happening in this town. So we will see Dexter fighting that temptation to go and be a vigilante again. And I think the tension that's gonna build with us knowing that Dexter can't do that, but he's gonna want to, and then his son may come in and just have to go and do this. Like, I can kind of see where they're leading this and I'm enjoying it. All will be revealed soon enough as the first episode of Dexter New Blood comes out on November 7th. So tell me, are you excited for Dexter New Blood? Do these new details kind of turn you off to the idea or does it reel you really far in? Thank you all so much for staying till the end of my video. Again, if you're new, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, let me know by liking it. And remember to make sure your notification bell is on so that way you always know when I drop a new video. That's gonna be it for this video. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace, video creeps. Some roses are red and some are blue. So please take a bunch here just for you. Besides, they were on sale three for two. You're the kind of deserves a bouquet. You deserve a bouquet. You deserve a bouquet. Cause you're my Patreon, tear my Patreon.